Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information, and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the e is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the e will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello! Good afternoon to our parents, teachers, and learners all over the nation. Right now, today, right at this moment, you're going to learn correct grammar and pronunciation. This is Teacher May, and this is Tutor Ira for English 3. Kumusta, Tutor Ira? How are you? Mabuti po. Mas, uh, better na po ako ngayong week na to, Tutor May. Hello po sa ating mga cuties sa ating mga co-tutors, sa mga parents, sa ating mga learners who are watching with us uh, this afternoon. Hello po all over the Philippines from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. It's nice to see you all again. Hello nice po. to Hello hear to. that you are getting better, Tutor Ira. Our prayers really are answered by God when we pray to Him. Okay, so before we start our exciting lesson for today, I bet we want to greet our learners on the comment section. Please start, Tutor Ira. Okay, yeah, so uh, um, uh, marami, marami na sila. So we have, of course, Zaya Atea Noblesa. Good afternoon sa yo. Kim Yuna Racelis Banas. We also have Carl Christian De La Cruz. Uh, Eric Bakani. We also have Raymond Faith B. Galicia. Hello, hello sa yo. We also have Vivian Alimurong. Hello daw po, Tutor May. Um, uh, we also have Nigel Lowell uh, Rodriguez Limon. Hello also to Priya Joyce Agli Flor. Uh, from Santo Domingo Elementary School, Minarin, Pampanga, we have Mikaela. Wow! Uh, Pineda, hello sa inyo. Uh, hello din kay Arabella Pagaran. Wow! Um, Alexandra Semenya. Halos, uh, uh, kano nang pa-upload nyo? Teacher, uh, Tutor May. We also have mm -hmm. watching from uh, Bulacan, Bulacan. Wow! Uh, under de la Peña. Hello. Yes, hello. and hello to Princess Jamela Niega, Jan mm -hmm. Zachary Pandillo, Ryla mm -hmm. Trahan, Lyle Matthew Maligro, Vivian Alimurong. Oh, she was mentioned already. Mm -hmm. Rovic Carsoliman, Erin mm -hmm. Miranda, Daniela May Frias, Cyrene Lokban, Kim Yuna. Who else here? Okay, we Sarah B. Eliano. Okay, we also have from SBO Pampanga, Vivian Alimuro. Hello, hello sa iyo. Okay, sino pa po ang nasa, ano mo, um, uh, uh, nandiyan sa iyo, Teacher May? Yes, we also have here Nigel Lowell Rodriguez Limon, Neri Caudilla, and Juliette Makapagal Insigne. Aside from that, everybody, I would also like to remind you that this space, this session are for learners. Again, if you have any business, Bitcoin, networking, please put them in the proper pages, groups, and spaces online. Let's respect the space because our learners from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao are here tuning in so that they can learn something or that so they can be helped with their modules it's not easy to learn on online right to their era so yeah. we want our learners to really be focused on their session okay so to their era there's something that we want to share with our learners first let's let's watch our short video presentation
O, oh, no sound. <laughs> it got no sound, so I'll just have to use my voice. So again, here is Shooter May and Shooter Era for English 3 every 2.20 to 3 p.m. So that's 40 minutes of jam-packed session with us. Again, I am from SD Onabotas and Shooter Era is from SD Olaguna. Shooter Era, we are wearing color green. Let's ask our learners on the comment section what the co what is the color of the shirt that that they are wearing today learners can you share with us the color of the shirt that you are wearing how about you tutor era what is the color that you are wearing today i have a dark green but still uh, meron pa rin touch ng green so yes. let's find out kung ano naman ang mga suot ng ating mga learners okay so uh, um mm -hmm. White for Kim Yuna. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. White also. Uh, how about si Carl Kaya? Okay, green then si uh, John Zachary. Sabi okay. ni Jocelyn Red. Arabella mm -hmm. uh, Rhymer Blue and Kim Yuna White. Mm -hmm. Teacher Ira, why do you think we are wearing green, green today? Any idea? Uh, I think it has something to do with the theme for the week. Tutor May, tama po ba ako? That is right, Tutor Ira. 100% correct. It's because mm -hmm. green is the color of growth, harmony, and family. And we are commemorating the, na the National Family Week with the theme, Pamilya at Teknolohiya. Magkabalikat, mag mag mapat Mapatagumpayan. I'm not really good in Filipino. Ang hamon. Yes. <laughs> ang hamon na pandemia. Yes. Shooter Ira, why do you think our country is commemorating or trying to focus on the importance of family? Any okay. idea? Of course, uh, dahil nga uh, doon tayo kumukuha ng strength sa ating family and tayo pa ba na Pilipinas, ang core natin talaga ay ang ating pamilya. So, uh, nevertheless, uh, kaya uh, ito mismo ang theme for this week uh, is for us uh, to strengthen talaga yung bond natin sa ating mga family. That is right, Shooter Era. And aside from that, according to our law, family is the most important unit of our society. It's the foundation of our society. Without any family, there's no us. So kayo, mga learners, ipagpasalamat natin na we are with our family or that our family is in a good condition. Hindi lahat ng pamilya po, no, ay... Um, ay maganda ang kalusugan kasi nga merong pandemya. Kung kayo po ay healthy, walang nararamdamang sakit, ipagpasalamat natin yun sa Diyos. Great blessing. And, great, blessing. Mm, great blessing. And our family is a gift from God. Remember that you are El loved. Always remember that I love and accept myself just the way I am. Uh, my family and friends love and accept me too. I am always surrounded by love. And our family, they remind us how much we are loved by God. Because God gave us a family for us to be loved and for us to be cared for. Yeah, sarap naman pakinggan, Tutor May. Yes, yes, <laughs> that is true. I think, Tutor Ira, aside from commemorating the National Family Week 2021, there's something to celebrate about. And that is the beautiful work of our Chutis. Can yes, you please uh, name them? All right. Uh, so, uh, our learners' laudable output for uh, Week 2, pag, sinatin, pag sinabi natin laudable, it's something uh, commendable and praiseworthy. So amazing talaga ang work ng ating mga um, uh, uh, learners ngayon. All right, so we have from um, uh, San Juan West Central School, we have Gallagher M. Aguila, and uh, he described his uh, toy cars. We also have Princess Jamela Siniega and John Zachary Pandilio, both from Mahada Out Elementary School, uh, and uh, their advisor is Miss Judy Cortigera Tordesillas. We also have, okay, uh, Eric Vanes F. Bacani, Giovanni Bacani, 
Um, uh, we also have Carl Christian de la Cruz and Desiree Gutierrez, both uh, from grade three, um, blue of uh, Balitas Sur Elementary School. And uh, very commendable talaga ang support ng ating advisor, si, uh, si Sir mm -hmm. Cipriano L. Arenas. Thank you so much. You are you. correct. Yeah, Shooter yeah. Oh, Ira. So. Next. Okay, so we have Zaya Altea Noblesa. Uh, she uh, told me that her advisor is Mrs. Fred uh, Fedeline I. Ponce. So thank you for the correction you made. And then uh, she sent me a message afterwards. So she's from Nagilian Elementary School, SDO Cagayan. We also have Asher Daniela B. Santiago. We also have, okay, uh, Jaylene Caguilla. So, bagong ano to, bagong nag-post sa ating uh, page. So, thank you for that. She's from San Juan Banyo Elementary School under Mrs. Josef Q. Mariano. We also And have, we are happy, Tutor Ira, when we see uh, new faces submitting their work, it's because yeah. our reach is becoming wider and we are reaching to more learners so to exactly. our learners for us to reach more grade three learners nationwide please share our session on your fb account so we are building a community of learners and we are also helping them with their modules aside from yes. jaylene to their era we, we will continue with yes, so we have austin ray uh ray rayley ara pilieren uh, grade 3 Rambutan from Mandaluyong City under Mrs. Tess Tendo. We also have Gabriel Emanuel Ara Beharasco from Francisco Benitez Elementary School. We also have uh, Gabriel Alana L. Escobedo and Katniss Gail Aguanas, or, or Agunas under Miss Alona B. Makuha from San Juan, Batangas. We also have Okay, uh, Chloe Amber F. Bacani. I think she's also under Sir uh, Cipriano. And then uh, we also have um, uh, uh, from Grade 3 Lime, um, uh, her name is Arabella M. Pagaran under Mom Elizabeth Humaran Flora of Santa Lucia Central Elementary School. So we would just like to remind you na ang ating mga learners, pag nag-post po kayo, don't forget I hashtag niyo po kami dalawa ni Tutor May uh, at i-post niyo po sa ating uh, Debit Ito Live uh, page para po uh, ma-acknowledge namin at ma-recognize ang inyong mga autos. So, keep it up, learners. Uh, good job. Yes, and we and when we ask you if we can share this, please say yes because we're not sharing work that you did not uh, give us the permission to share. So when we ask that question, can we share this next week? Please say yes because we are waiting for your responses. Tutor Ira, we're so happy about their descriptive paragraphs because we can see how artistic, how creative, how loving our tutees are. Some of their work are about, or some of their paragraphs are about their families. Yes, very Esther, loving. Yes, their favorite mm -hmm. toys, um, uh, pet, and many others. So that's yes. really, really nice uh, to read and uh, see their work. Yes, and Shooter Era, we're not just reading their work, we're knowing about their likes, their personalities, and their characteristics. It's like when we are reading your descriptive paragraphs, we are like um, opening the door to your mind because we can read and see how you think. And we are so proud of your work. Right, Shooter Era? Yes, and uh, they are telling us na for that week, talagang may natutunan sila. They learned something from us. Applying yes. uh, the different competencies uh, that we are sharing for every week. Yes, I cannot say that in other words, Shooter Ira, because mm -hmm. I absolutely agree with you. So we are done with our National Family Week, and we are done celebrating also the work of our Shooties last week about descriptive paragraphs. I think we can now move on to our lesson. Please help me, Shooter Ira, if you still can, okay? We will be needing your help. Our lesson for today, everybody, is about writing a diary using different kinds of sentences. And our module reference for this lesson is SD Onavotas. Thank you, SD Onavotas, for lending us your material, or allowing us to use this material because your module is helping learners nationwide. Okay, so we are now on our third week. Again, you can screenshot this 
uh, r- roster of topics so you will not get lost. Nasaan na ba kami ni Teacher May or and Teacher Ira? Uh, anong week na? Anong topic na? So you can screenshot this uh, list of topics so that next week you know that ay mag-aaral na pala kami ng types of nouns and you are guided doon sa gagamitin the topic natin and kung ano na yung pag-aaralan nyo sa module ninyo. Okay. So, for our uh, for our session for today, these are our objectives. Recognize simple and compound sentences with correct and then indention and punctuation. Identify different kinds of sentences based on their usage and punctuation. Determine the kinds of sentences used in a sample diary. Write a diary using different kinds of sentences and create a story diary. What are the other objectives to their era we also have under effective express understanding of the lesson by creating a story diary and for psychomotor you are going to create a story diary using the different kinds of sentences that's right and as you can see learners our session for today is jam-packed we're not joking when we say that our session will be filled with learning filled with fun and filled with so much things to learn about because as you can see we had a lot of lesson goals this this uh today this session so if you're ready my dear learners can you please com- comment a hard sign on the comment section because if you do that means you are ready to listen and your hearts and minds are ready to take in our lesson for today Sige nga, can we see can we see a heart reaction? Sabi ni Arabella, OMG, I love the subject English. And we love you to Arabella. It's not just because you love English. It's because we teachers, we love the language too. Because without any language, such as English, we cannot express what we what we think, what we feel, and what we love. Okay, Tutor Ira, I think they are ready. Let's start. Okay, last week, we learned a couple of things. First is that, a descriptive paragraph describes a person, thing, animal, place, event, or a characteristic. Aside from that, Shooter Ira, we also learned that. Can you please uh, read the second and third points? We have a descriptive paragraph that has describing words to describe a person, thing, animal, place, event, or characteristic. And then last, when writing a paragraph, we put an indent by starting the first paragraph further from the margin. We also observe correct punctuation, or sorry, capitalization and punctuation in each sentence. Thank you, Shooter Ira, and I hope our learners are reminded of these things because we will be using them. We will be reviewing these things again before we go on and write our diaries, okay? So ready, ready or your module, your pen and paper learners, because we will be having our first review activity, okay? Number one, which of the following sentences is a simple sentence and follows correct capitalization and punctuation? I want you to comment the number of the item you are answering, number one, and then the letter of your answer. Again, we have three sentences here. Which of these sentences is the sentence that is a simple sentence and that follows correct capitalization and punctuation okay we're waiting for your answer as you can see it's a combination of what we learned from the first week and on the second week okay sabi ni carl it's letter b okay most of them answered letter b so if your answer is like carl erich makian Sheraiza, Erika, and Jalan. Jalan, if your answer is letter B, then you are correct. Wow. Let's have number two. Which of the following sentences is a compound? Okay, a compound sentence and follows correct capitalization and punctuation. Again, we're looking. We have three sentences here, and we're looking for the compound sentence that has the correct capitalization and punctuation again please put the number of the item you are answering and then the letter of your answer so we will not get confused what number are you answering now okay so what is the common answer tutor ira can you please tell me so uh, some of our um, learners said uh, c uh, like eric uh, agnes said b lenron said b princess jamela say uh, mm-hmm. said c 
uh, Giovanni uh, mag-commented C. Kafer said C. So, uh, Tutor May, ano po ba ang sagot? Wow, most of our learners answered letter C and that is correct. This one is a compound sentence that follows correct capitalization and punctuation. Teacher, why is it a compound sentence again? Because we have two complete thoughts. Though, this one, this sentence is a question. Why? Because we have a question mark. And you have here, we call this as a compound question. What is the first complete thought, teacher May? Have we realized how much our parents love us? That's a complete thought. Next one, they work hard for us. That is also a complete thought joined by the coordinating conjunction. So, so if you answer letter C, wow, you still remember our lesson last time. Now, let's go to number three. Again, I'm looking for a simple sentence that follows correct capitalization and punctuation. We're now on number three. Please put the number of the item you are answering and in the letter of your answer. So again, teachers, the, the two of us will not get confused of the answer and then the number that you are answering. Hi, Sir Dennis. Shout out daw po kay Argo Gutierrez. Okay, Argo, if... Uh, if Argo is the kid of Sir Dennis, alam mo ba, ang sipag ni Sir Dennis and idol ko yan si Sir Dennis pagdating sa kasipagan, okay? You're such a lucky child if Sir Dennis is your father, okay? Because I cannot speak of anything about his passion. Really passionate talaga yung Sir Dennis. Okay, let's take a look at number three. Most of your answers, ah, hati sila. Tutor Ira, may nagsabing B, may nagsabing C. Pero if you will look, take a look at it. Oh, look at letter B. Make sure that you make sure that you listen to your parents. Is that the correct punctuation? It seems like you are saying something, but your punctuation is a question mark. Can you rethink of your answer? I don't think B is the correct answer because you are saying something you're not even asking. You're just saying make sure that you listen to your parents. And I think it's wrong to have a question mark at the end of the sentence. So if it's not B, what do you think is the correct answer? Is it A or C? Okay, then if your answer is like Erich, um, Johan, Dennis, Giovanni, and the correct answer is letter A. So if you can see, letter B is confusing, but if you will look at it very carefully, you will say, oh, it's not correct. Therefore, letter A is the answer for number three. Number four, we're now looking for a compound sentence that follows correct capitalization and punctuation. Again, we're now on number four. The answer for number three is A. Right now, we're now on number four. What is the correct answer? If a while ago, we're looking for a simple sentence that has correct capitalization and punctuation, we're now back to a compound sentence that follows correct capitalization and punctuation. What is the answer? Is it A, B, or C? Take a look at the words, ha? Kasi meron dyan, kinakapitalize, pero hindi naman dapat. Meron dyan, mali yung punctuation based on the idea given. Is it A, B, or C? Maraming nag-A. Marami ding nag-B-B. Okay, let's see. And let's find out what is the correct answer. What is the correct answer, Tutor Ira? The correct answer is... Letter B. Letter B. So if your answer is like Kim Yuna's answer, uh, Erich, Arabella, and Chloe, Ethan, si, si Ethan ba yon? Then you are correct. It's letter B. Now, let's take a look of the, the sentences that we have. So let's read them together. Ready? Ready, learners? Let's read them together. Our parents are working hard to provide us for our needs. Have we realized how much our parents love us so they worked, so they work hard for us? Let's tell our parents how much we love them too. I love you so much, mommy, and I love you so much, daddy. Okay, so I added one sentence. They do all the best that they can because they love us so much. Now we have five sentences. My question is, what kind of sentence are the sentences highlighted in blue? Okay, again, if our learners can really recall the lesson last week and in our first week, what is what is the type of sentence of these sentences highlighted in blue? Are these simple sentences or are these 
compound sentences. Let's see. Tama si Ryla. Thank you, Ryla. This one, these sentences are simple sentences. Ang galing naman because all of them just have one thought. Very good, Ryla. Now, let's have these sentences. What type, what kind of sentence based on structure, okay? We're now based on structure because later on, you'll find out another type of sentence, okay? What type of sentence are these sentences highlighted in violet? You can see that they are, they have the coordinating conjunctions, so and and, okay? So if you answered compound sentence like Ryla, Erich, John Zachary, you are correct. These are compound sentences. Teacher, bakit hindi mo hinighlight yung number five? Because it's another kind of sentence that you will study in other grade levels. But just to prepare you, number five is an example of complex sentence. But it's not yet for your grade level. I'm just telling that. One and three are simple sentences, and two and four are compound sentences. Now, okay, class, it's getting harder. It's more challenging. If we group these five sentences together, again, I have simple sentences and compound sentences. If I group them and place them in order based on the flow of their ideas, I am creating a what? Okay, let's see if you can recall. If I join and group these sentences together, what am I making? Let's see if you can still remember if we put sentences together, if we group them, what are we making? It starts with letter P, it ends with letter H. What are we making? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Nako. Wala pang, yes, Erich, very good. If we will group these sentences together based on the flow of their ideas, we are creating a paragraph. Now, let's see, okay? Let's have the five sentences that we had a while ago. And we started with this sentence. Have we realized how much our parents love us so they, they work hard for us? Teacher, what is the next sentence? Our next sentence should be about how our parents work for us. Can you tell me, learners, which sentence, which sentence in our list should be the next sentence? Is it one, three, four, or five? Can you tell me? Again, in our first sentence, it tells us about uh, have we realized how much our parents work for uh, how much our parents love us so they work hard for us? Our keyword is work. Now, to have another sentence, the next sentence should be about how our parents work for us. Is it one, three, four, and five? Okay? Let's see, may nagwa-1, may nagfa-5, may nagfo 4 Pero marami sa inyo ang nagwa-1. Let's see if that is the answer. That is correct. Why? Because number 1, sentence number 1 said, Our parents are working hard to provide for our needs. So you see, the ideas are connected to each other. Now, if that is our second sentence, the next sentence that we will be looking for will be about the reason they work hard for us. Why are they working hard? Is it on number three, number four, or number five? Okay, which sentence in the list tells us how much or the reason why they are working hard for us? Is it three, four, or five? Okay, maraming nagfa five. Let's see if that is the answer. That is correct. Bakit daw? They do all the best that they can because they love us so much. Wow! Alam na ng learner paano gumawa ng paragraph. Now, we're not yet done, ha? The next sentence will be about how we can show how we love our parents. Is it three or four? Okay, based on the remaining sentences there, what is the sentence that would tell how much or how we can show our love to our parents? Is it three 
or four? Sabi ninyo, three. Let's see. Yes, very good. Number three. Let's tell our parents how much we love them too. So, for our next sentence, what are we going to tell to our parents? Definitely, it will be the remaining sentence. It will be number four. Yay, hey, learners! Thank you for helping me create this paragraph. Now, my tanong si teacher, because you have these highlighted adjectives, hard, best, so much, much, what is the purpose of the paragraph? Is it to inform us that our parents work hard for us? Is it to describe how hard our parents work for us because they love us so much? Or C, to encourage us to say, I love you to our parents. Again, what is the purpose of the paragraph? Is it to inform, to describe, or to encourage? Let's see, because you have lots of describing words. We have lots of adjectives there, like hard, best, and so much. If your answer is letter B, like John Zachary, to describe how hard our parents work for us because they love us so much, that is the correct answer. Now, if the purpose of the paragraph is to describe what kind of paragraph is the paragraph we have just written, can you tell me? The answer is composed of two words. The first word starts with D. The second word starts with B. What kind of paragraph is the paragraph that we have just written? Okay, let me see if you can still answer this one. Yes, you're correct. It's letter B. Yes, describe. Now, we will be having the kind of paragraph. What kind of paragraph is this? Very good. It's a descriptive paragraph. Okay? Ang una kong nakitang sumagot, nasa na yung sagot nun? Si Erich, si Ethan. Yes, we have made a descriptive paragraph. Now that we know the purpose and the kind of paragraph we have just written, what is the title? Okay? We're now looking for the title. What will be a good title for our descriptive? The paragraph is it a our parents work b our parents love us so much or letter c our parents need to love us okay a b or c can you tell me your answer okay sabi ni zachary letter b okay it's correct because it's the it this paragraph tells us how our parents love us so much. And here is a picture of my parents, my mom and dad. Okay, let's read a descriptive paragraph that we have created. The title is, Our Parents Love Us So Much. Have we realized how much our parents love us so they work hard for us? Our parents are working hard to provide for our needs. They do all the best that they can because they love us so much. Let's tell our parents how much we love them too. I love you so much, Mommy. And I love you so much too, Daddy. Okay, thank you so much, learners, for helping me create this descriptive paragraph. And I am proud of you because you can now tell that sentences should be connected to one another, okay? So, let's have again the sentences that we have a while ago, okay? Remember, these are the sentences that we used in our activity a while ago or in our first activity. These sentences, as you can see, um have different ideas aside from that they have different punctuation some of the sentences have the same punctuation while other sentences have different punctuation now my question is learners which sentences have a period in the end okay can you tell me the number of the numbers of the sentences that have a period in the end can you tell me what, okay, what sentences, what sentences have period in the end? Okay, sabi ni Fatima, I love them too. Yes, I love my parents as well. Aside, one, three, and five, tama kaya ang sagot? Yes, the sentences that have a period in the end are the sentences one, three, and five. How about sentence that has a question mark in the end? Can you tell me what number of what is the number of that sentence that ends with a question mark? 
Okay, maraming humahabol. Now, let's have the question mark. Okay, a while ago, it's 1, 3, and 5 for the period. Which sentence has a question mark at the end if your answer is number 2? Like Rafael and Kim, you are correct. Okay, you, Rili, and Daniela. Wow, very good. Observant. Very good pair of eyes. Now, which sentence has an exclamation point in the end? See, nga, tingnan natin. Ano ba yung sentence? Which number? What? Which sentences here has an exclamation point? Let's see if you can still get it. Wow! Nords, tama ka. It's number four, right? Number four has an exclamation point at the end. Now, remember, these sentences do not only have different ideas. They have different punctuations. Why, teacher? Bakit? Kailangan teacher may kama, may question mark, may exclamation point because they they are different types of sentences based on function. If if simple and compound sentences are sentences based on structure, these sentences that we will be learning today will be types or kinds of sentences based on function. Teacher, ano yung mga sentences na yun based on function? Let us listen to a rap, okay? To a rap song. But before that, I will be checking first the audio, okay? I will be checking first the audio. Uh-huh. Wait for a while. I'll be sharing this. Share. There you go. Okay, kasi kanina wala kasing audio. So, I'll be sharing it again with you. Okay, for a while, please. Share. There you go. Oh my gosh, it's not that one. Okay, can I see that, technical director? Wait for a while. Uh-huh. It should be here. I'm having some problems with my audio. Okay, stop sharing ko lang to ha. Because a while ago, there's no sound kasi. And um, definitely, you cannot, you cannot know what I am talking about if I will not, if I will not put an audio. Okay, here you go. Okay, share. Technical director. Okay, naikita na po. Okay, I can see it. Okay, we're, we're okay, technical director. Can you please share my screen now? Okay, there you go. Let's see. There are four kinds of sentences. You gotta know what your sentence is. Declarative, imperative, interrogative, exclamatory. Declarative, a statement. It tells you something. Cause you can't just write a sentence about nothing. This song is fresh. That's declarative. I am the best. That's declarative. Imperative. Okay, that's a command. It tells someone to do something. You understand? Listen to me. That's imperative. Move your feet. That's imperative. There are four kinds of sentences. You gotta know what your sentence is. Declarative. Imperative. Interrogative. Exclamatory. Interrogative. A question. It always asks. And of course you will see that question mark last. Do you like this beat? That's interrogative. Did I bring the heat? That's interrogative. Exclamatory. Strong feelings right from the start. And at the end you will see that exclamation mark. That was amazing. That's exclamatory. Your rhymes are blazing. That's exclamatory. There are four kinds of sentences. You gotta know what your sentence is. Declarative, imperative, interrogative, exclamatory. There are four kinds of sentences. You gotta know what your sentence is. Declarative, imperative, interrogative, exclamatory. There are four kinds of sentences. You gotta know what your sentence is. Declarative, imperative, interrogative, exclamatory. All right, cool, right? So there are four kinds of sentences according to the video. There are four kinds of sentences. You have to know what your sentence is, okay? So 
if you really listen and watch to the rap song, what are the four kinds of sentences according to function that the rap have just said? Again, I'm needing, I'm looking for the four kinds of sentences according to function that the song gave to us. What are these four types of sentences? Watching from SDO Isabella, Susan, hi. Okay, while waiting for your answers, can, can you give one of the sentences that was mentioned in the rap? We have four kinds of sentences. We got to know what our sentence is. Yes, ang ganda ng kanta. Declarative, imperative. So what are the two sentences? Declarative, imperative. I'm looking for the other two, Erich. Can you help me uh, remember the other two types of sentences? Interrogative. Very good, Rafael. So we're looking for the last one. Declarative, imperative, interrogative, and blank very good nards exclamatory so according to the song we have four kinds of sentences we gotta know what are sentences declarative imperative interrogative exclamatory yay those again these are our four types of sentences according to function okay so let's study okay so what is we have usage, punctuation, and example. What sentence is used to tell and share a fact and idea? We use the punctuation period. Example is, our parents are working hard to provide for our needs. What type of sentence is this? Is it an imperative, declarative, interrogative, exclamatory? Okay, what is the answer? What is this? What is the sentence that used to tell and share a fact and idea? We used a period. Very good to be. It's declarative. It's declarative. Now, what is the sentence used to make a command or request? Just like a declarative sentence, we use a period here. Again, we use this for command or request. Examples are, let's tell our parents how much we love them too. And please say, I love you. Okay, what type of sentence is this? Okay, it's imperative. Thank you, Erich and Rafael. Very good. Now we're down to the last two. It is used to ask a question. And when we're asking a question, we use a question mark. Another example for that is have we realized how much our parents love us so they work hard for us? What type of sentences is this used for asking a question? Is It is... We have declarative, imperative, it's Rafael, very good. It's interrogative. How about the last one? Used to express strong emotions. And we use the punctuation, exclam it's exclamation point. Example, I love you so much, mommy. And I love you so much too, daddy. What type of sentence is that? So we have declarative, imperative, interrogative, and exclamatory, very very good doors. Now we completed the four kinds of sentences. We got to know what are sentences, declarative, imperative, interrogative, exclamatory. And these sentences are kinds of sentences based on function. Now, we will be using these sentences to write a diary. Teacher, what is a diary? A diary is a piece of writing that describes what the writer did, what the writer saw, and what the writer felt in a day or during a particular time. It is often kept personal. So, hindi natin siya nilalabas. May mga diary ba kayo? Okay, kung meron po, type yes on the comment comment section. Kasi si teacher, nung bata siya, may diary din siya. So, pero yung diary ko, sabi dito, it is often kept personal. Ibig sabihin, ako lang yung nakakaalam. Yes, sabi ni Kim, may diary din siya. Di ba, Kim? It's personal so hindi natin siya basta-basta sinasabi or pinapabasa sa iba. Si Giovanni at si Eric, meron din. And we often address it like a close friend. That's why we start our diary with Dear diary, di ba? Alam nyo, oh, ang dami pala dito may diary. Very good. Now, alam nyo ba, class, merong 
merong sikat na sikat na diary worldwide and that is the diary of Anne Frank. This is the copy of her diary and this is her picture on the right side of the screen. Teacher, who is Anne Frank? Anne Frank was born in 1929 and died in 1945 in a concentration camp in Germany. Her diary was published by his father in 1947. Teacher, sabi mo personal yung diary, eh bakit pinublish ng tatay na it's because the diary of Anne Frank is about her experience during World War II. Um, her father wanted everyone to know their experience when they were, when uh, when Adolf Hitler was killing the Jews. This happened in World War II. What a sad part of our history. And that is recorded in the diary of Anne Frank. I hope you know Anne Frank because she is one of the famous people in our history. Okay? So this is a diary that I also have here. Okay? Let me read it for you. Dear Diary, I heard such lovely news today from my father. He said he was going to buy me a new tablet for my upcoming birthday. Do you know why he will give me a tab? Uh, do you know why he will gift a tablet to me? I have been asking him nonstop so I can use it for my online class. My father said something seriously to me. Please be careful with your tablet. I will always do. I told him immediately. Now I am excited to have my new tablet. So this is a diary from someone who will be receiving a tablet in his or her birthday. Now, let me uh, use this entry diary entry to ask you about the kinds of sentences look at the highlighted sentences the highlighted sentences express strong emotions and both end with an exclamation point what kind of sentences are they okay correction what kind of sentences are they is it a declarative imperative b interrogative c or exclamatory Okay, Alric, that's, oh, that's so many years ago. Hindi naman. Hindi naman ganong katagal. It's letter D. Very good. It's an exclamatory. Again, put the letter of your, uh, put the letter of the, uh, put the number of the item you are answering. Number one, then, then letter D. Very good. Now, let's have number two. The highlighted sentences tell the writer's thoughts and ideas. It's just sharing, telling you what's in her mind, what, what are her experiences. All of them also end with a period. What kind of sentence are they? Or what kind of sentences are they? Are they declarative, impera imperative, interrogative, exclamatory? Number two, it is, if your answer is like Raphael, Letter A, then it's, then you are correct. John Zachary and Erin, yes, they are declarative sentences. They are not expressing a command or request, but they are just sharing a statement, the idea, the thoughts, the experiences of the writer. So those sentences are declarative sentences. How about this one? The highlighted sentence expressed a request, please be careful with your tablet. It also ends with a period like a declarative sentence. What kind of sentence is it? Is it declarative, imperative, interrogative, exclamatory? Please write the number, please put the number and then your answer. We're now on number three. Yes, may nagsabing letter B. Very good, Erich. Uh, Erich John Zachary, it's letter B, imperative. Now, let's go to, to our fourth question. The highlighted sentence asks a question and ends with a question mark. What kind of sentence is it? Declarative, imperative, interrogative, exclamatory. Let's see. We're now on number four. Okay. Number four na tayo. Kung ang sagot nyo ay B kanina, tama kayo, magaling. We're now on number four. Is it? Exclamatory ba siya? Kung siya ay question mark, it's letter C, interrogative. If your answer is like Carl, Brianna, Rafael, Giovanni, C, ano pa nag C? Si Toby, then your answer is correct. Hindi man na may mention ni teacher lahat ng name nyo, pero ang importante, tama ang inyong mga sagot. Now, because we have lots of description here, we have the words uh, lovely, upcoming, uh, non-stop and seriously excited what kind of paragraph is written in the diary. Sige nga, 
if everyone can still remember, since I said in the diary, we are describing what the writer did, saw, and felt. Therefore, what kind of paragraph is in the diary? Okay, what kind of paragraph? Hi, Tutor Sip. Good afternoon. We're about to end our lesson. Very good, Rafael. It's a descriptive paragraph. So we are using a descriptive paragraph when we are writing a diary, okay? So let's summarize what we learned for today. Let's have the first image. A blank is a piece of writing that describes what the writer did, saw, and felt in a day or during a particular time. What is that icon? It starts with letter D. A blank is a piece of, the, of writing that describes what the writer did, saw, and felt. What D is that? Okay. Is it descriptive paragraph? Like Anne Frank. Ano ba ang sinulat ni Anne Frank? Very good, Toby, Rovic, Erin. It's a diary. Galing. It is often kept personal and is addressed as if a close friend. That's why we said... Dear Diary, it uses different kinds of sentences. These sentences are, the first one is the sentence that shares a statement, ends with a period, tells an idea or thought. What is the first sentence that uses a period? Ano yun? Declarative ba siya? Imperative? Exclamatory? Or, uh, ano yun? Declarative, imperative, exclamatory, and interrogative. Okay, what's the first What's the first one? Okay, declarative. Very good. How about the second type of sentence that is used to express a command and request? It also uses that kind of sentence, also uses a period. What kind of sentence is that? Very good, Eric. Imperative. But it is spelled as I-M-P-E-R-A-T-I-V-E. Oh, how about the sentence, the type of sentence, the kind that is used to ask a question? What kind of sentence is that used to ask a question? Let's see if you will get the correct answer. It's interrogative, but it is double R, Nards. Okay, very good. Interrogative. And how about the kind of sentence used to express a strong emotion? We use the punctuation exclamation point. What? kind of sentence is that? Can you tell me? Very good. Exclamatory. Yes, we finished our lesson. So, before we finish, oh, nawala yung ating ano, summarization, but I want you to do this as an, an additional exercise. Watch the video and create a story diary about your day, your day in your, about a day in your life during the pandemic. Okay, let me correct that. About a day in your life during the pandemic, your story diary must be less than two minutes, as Rhea did, as you can see in the video. Use at least three kinds of sentences in your video. Teacher, ano ba yung kanyang video? Let us watch before we say bye-bye. <laughs> Notice something about us, the things we do so well. Hello, my name is Rhea Arjun, I'm nine years old, and I live in New York with my parents. Today, I'm going to show you a day in my life during the lockdown. Let's go! I start my day with a healthy breakfast, always with some fruits and juice. And to go with that, I have some toast, or cereal, or waffles. Oh, it's time for my online classes. Follow me! My online classes are beginning soon. We do math, ELA, science, and social. I do my work online, and I submit it at the end of the day. Shh, it's beginning soon. I'll catch you later. I just went for a brisk walk with my parents. We do it every day so we can clear our minds and get plenty of fresh air. It's around 4 p.m. in New York, and this is a time where I film for my YouTube channel, Rad. It keeps me engaged and my friends love it. I retire for the day with the book. I love reading and it helps me sleep really well. Especially during these COVID times, we need to remember the three F's. Stay home, stay safe, save lives.
All right. Again, you will be making a diary, but it will be an electronic diary. In your video, you will be May or you will be using at least three types of sentences, okay? Because we have four, at least use three sentences. And Ria, like you, is um nine years old, so most of you are eight or nine years old, and she has the same age as you. So I hope, and I will be looking forward to your story diaries or electronic diaries using the four types of sentences you can send that to our fb tutor may and tutor era or post it in the itali group page again this has been tutor may and tutor era your feedback matters so you can also say what you would like for us to know just scan this qr code and you can also email us for inquiries and that's it. This has been Teacher May and Shooter Ira. I hope you learned with me and with Shooter Ira today. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag Itulay Level Up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!